Testing, one, two, three. Here we go. So Gina Lee's, tell me, where yes. are we right now? So we're in Rochester right now, and we're about to go into the record archives. Let me film. There it be. <laughs> and what are we on the hunt for today, Gina Lee's? Some vinyl. Now, specifically, we are on the hunt for the George Harrison. Yes. All things must pass. Yeah. There's a cool poster out in front. 50th anniversary edition. <laughs> Sweet poster out front. And if you have the big poster out front, you best have the album. All right, been worried all morning about this. We should all week about this. All right. Alright, post record archive trip. We're actually still in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Some good finds. Yeah. Some really cool, unique finds. Gina Lise. Alright. So, what you got? So, I got an airplane over the sea by Neutral Milk Hotel. Super fancy. Um, yeah. This album's always really uh, amazingly priced for the quality. Yeah, it's uh, 20 bucks. Jeff Mangum, um, one of the greatest songwriters, I'd say, of the 90s, and one of the greatest indie groups um, of the 90s. I always liked this cover, too, the album cover. Yeah, it's amazing. It's cool. The back's kind of cool, too. Are you happy with your purchase? I am happy. I think it was a great purchase. <clears throat> I, I think the album's really easy to throw on. Yeah. And uh, all at a great bargain price. Now... What did you get, Tim? I kind of uh, spent... A decent amount of money. All right. Now, I got a, I got some little goodies I want to show off before I show off the big purchase. The little goodies mm -hmm. is this random five dollar mystery toy box. So it's a little bag, mystery bag of an assortment of little toys that I thought was cool. So I bought two of these Johnnies, <laughs> and that is pretty cool in my opinion. Another thing on the trend of mystery boxes. I got a $5 vinyl mystery box. Now, not gonna open this now. We're gonna save this for a separate there's video. There's a ton of vinyls in here. It feels like there's maybe like six, five thick, or six vinyls in boy. here, so. We're gonna do this in an upcoming we'll, episode. Yeah, we'll we're gonna do sort of a roulette. You are, we're gonna go back and forth and you keep picking one out because there's gotta be like 10 in here. Yeah. So we're gonna go back and forth, selecting those and whichever one you pick, you keep. Or if you really hate it, you can discard <laughs> it, but you're stuck with which one you draw. So that's gonna be fun, cool video. And now for the piece de resistance. If I can reach it. <laughs> it is why we came here. All things must pass. Box set, three LP, George Harrison, solo album, most iconic one, my favorite one. 50th anniversary, three disc box set. Um, I'll probably wait to do an unboxing or uh, sort of a show and tell, if you will, of uh, of this album until we get back to the house. Um, I think it'd be cooler just to unbox it. I'll still film it and throw the footage up there. But uh, this was my big purchase. Uh, it's why I came here today. Um, like I said, this, this album means a lot to me and to, to have it. Um, George Harrison, my favorite of all the Beatles. Um, I think his solo career was the most outstanding, um, in my opinion, my personal taste. 
So to have my favorite solo album by him and a cool 50th anniversary, even says it right above the, or right below the title. Um, to me, I, I just had to have it. So that is our haul from the record archive in Rochester, New York. I highly recommend checking them out if you're in the New York area. And uh, yeah, heading back home now. Yeah. See you there. See ya. We're back home from our trip to Record Archive in Rochester, New York. I had a good time. I, yeah. I hope you did too. That place is always super unique, so it's uh, always worth the long journey out there uh, to go and see the really cool stuff. They even have like a cool bar area yeah. that was blocked off. Uh, or no, you needed um, vaccination certification and a mask, I believe. Yeah. So they just it was pretty much not worth the effort. Uh, they had a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, just a large selection of what well, feels like everything. We got mystery boxes and all this crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but the piece in which I personally uh, went there for, as you saw earlier, was All Things Must Pass, 50th anniversary box set, uh, solo album by George Harrison, my personal favorite. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna open it for the, uh, the first time on a camera. You'll see it from a much better angle. Um, but as I struggle to open this, um, super cool, like fold open gatefold box, which feels very secure. I feel like when I close this, it's gonna be very, uh, very solid. Um, super cool book with containing artwork, quotes, uh, a little behind the scenes footage. We got a, we got a Ringo set. Ringo set. Cool booklet. Um, oh, lit! This is awesome. Uh, very oh, that's cool. So cool. George Harrison posted that, um, that uh, I did see they promoted you would get one if you made the purchase of the box set. Not saying it's the reason why I bought the box set, but I, as you can see, I do love posters. Um, yeah, the smell is very unique. Uh, Appears to be casings for the, the vinyls. So we got a casing there, a disc, very high quality, very cool. And then I believe there's another disc. I believe it's a three disc or a three LP. Bonus tracks, anniversary remixes, the whole lot uh, on here. And uh, man, side five and side six. This is this would be one you throw on for an entire day. I know single disc LPs uh, to be forty plus dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so to get three discs for sixty five, I think I paid for this. Um, and you get a ton of goodies. You get a box set. Like I said a really cool poster. Fun little booklet for all the uh, George Harrison fans like myself. Yep. A special anniversary edition of uh, my personal favorite, All Things Must Pass. Um, you, of course, picked up the uh, Nutrimilk Hotel mm -hmm. near a plane over the sea. Yeah. Um, and we have two mystery boxes. Um, a vinyl mystery box with like an assortment of what feels like 10 of them. And then a little $5 mystery box with random toys in there. So that's gonna be the next video. Uh, we're gonna do that separate unboxing video because we, uh, we know how fun unboxing videos to be. So I think we're gonna dedicate a, a whole video to that. And um, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed our uh, little uh, vlog experiment uh, going out to Rochester, New York. to visit the record archive. Um, one of the greatest uh, record stores in my opinion. Uh, in the New York area. Um, and yeah, did you enjoy yourself? Oh, I had a lot of fun, yeah. It was a good time. It was, it was really fun. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, and if, if you would like to see more uh, vlog style stuff, I know we had a lot of fun yeah. filming the vlog style video. Um, it, if people who like watching our videos enjoy that type, please let us know, because we would love to continue to discover new places and really go through this experience again. So with that being said, uh, thank you all again for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. See ya.